Good morning, good morning. Camera on, check. Do I remember how to do this? I don't know. Do I have a cold? Of course I do. I was on an airplane. The last few flights I've gotten real cocky because I figured I haven't gotten sick lately because I've been putting on a mask. Blah, blah, blah. Well, I don't know what was on that plane, but half of our group got sick. Um, we brought COVID tests with us, so we know it's not COVID. <clears throat> we were all told because COVID has kicked off here again in the United States to test before you leave and then it bring an extra test with you in case you need to test while you're there. Um, one thing I did not tell you, <laughs> the entire week before we left, I had food poisoning. Uh, we tested me like three times that week. It was not COVID. It was some kind of food poisoning. Um, it was awful. And to the point where one of my videos, I know it's there. You may not know it's there, but I was deeply trying to keep nausea down. And I kept taking all these deep breaths and I kept blaming the dog that I had to get up while well, I was getting up to do stuff. And, um, but I had one more video I wanted to film. And I don't remember if that was one of the scheduled ones while I was gone or if it was one of the, the last day or two before I left. I don't remember. We got in late last night. Um, I'm back on schedule. I have a new viewer. Good morning, Jenny. <laughs> I don't know how many of my videos she's going to watch. She said she's watched a few already. Uh, she is a junk journaler. Hallelujah. More in our community. Yes. But um, she says, how come your face isn't on camera? I'm like, no, I hate my face on camera. I hate my face in pictures. And everybody kept saying, oh, come on, come on. Let's get in the picture. Get in the picture in our group. We had the best group. And get in the picture. I'm like, I hate being in pictures. Anyhow, uh, I thought today's video, yes, my voice is gone. This is better, believe it or not. Uh, my husband has it. I got a cold on the plane, um, <clears throat> probably because my system was compromised, only because I had all this food poisoning. And I got a cold. I We hand sanitized. We masked. We did everything. I still got it. Um, the second or third day we were out, must have been about the third day, I could feel it coming on. And we actually passed a grocery store that had a pharmacy attached. And I begged our guide and our, our bus driver, can we stop, please? Because I didn't bring any medicine with me because I knew I had been so, I got really cocky. I knew I was fine. <clears throat> now that's what I get for thinking. Anyhow, my husband caught it. He's in the beginnings of the end. I'm in the, at the end, I'm about 75% better. Um, I knuckle, Luckily, even with all the flying, my ear has not been infected, which happens every time I get a cold. Um, but I had Vicks. I had cough drops. I had some kind of decongestant. I had cough drops, um, a cough syrup. We stopped and got everything, we, one of each. <laughs> and uh, uh, I started it. Ken finished it all. We threw nothing away. We I've been putting Vicks on my feet. If you know me, you know me. I put Vicks on my feet as an old wives' tale. I was told on a cruise ship by a lady and it works. You've got a lot of pores in your feet and I am a firm believer in Vicks Vapor Rub and this lady was too and she puts it on her feet, puts on a pair of socks and if she feels anything, she put and it wipes it out and I really firmly believe that. Anyhow, three minutes in and I'm just going to show you some souvenirs because I have a stack, a stack and just a very brief synopsis of our trip. I'm going to cover it in my Hobodichi and a journal, so you'll probably be tired of it by the end. But it was great. Fantastic. Craft Tours strikes again. Um, I can't say enough about Craft Tours. One night we ate dinner with the man that owns it. Um, he actually sat next to me. And um, Jenny Doan, of course, was our entertainment factor, our draw for the show. Last year when I went to Vietnam, it was Bonnie Hunter. If you're a quilter, you'll know Bonnie Hunter. Um, this year, uh, we did England and the draw was Jenny Doan. But this year, we had 12. Let's see, we had three single women, two couples, Jenny and her husband, so three couples, a guide, and two sets of sisters. That was it. We were in a small van for the first half of the trip. It, I mean, it was great, great size, great size, great size. 
fantastic trip. We started in Birmingham because that's where the Festival of Quilts is. And that we did that the first day. Then we drove down to the Cotswolds and stayed there for five days. And we took day trips from there all out and about. The hotel was lovely, lovely. Um, it was on the, this little group of lakes. Um, and in one of my videos, I said, I hope we get to do Beatrix Potter. I mean, that's to me because I don't know. Uh, Beatrix Potter is almost to the border of Scotland. So we were nowhere near that. But the Cotswolds, I imagine seeing her everywhere. The little hotel, not the little hotel, the, the hotel place that we stayed at had all these little lakes. And one of them was right behind our hotel. So you had a back door and a front door to your hotel room. And the back door was out on these all these little lakes with ducks and swans and birds and a walking trail. We did the walking trail. I mean, it was beautiful, beautiful. Very, to me, like Norwegian looking. Um, very modern, but great. Our neighbors in the hotel room had to happen to be another couple there that was on vacation from England, but still on vacation. And they had a dog, Louis, who was some kind of water spaniel, some kind. And he was in and out of our hotel room. It was the cutest thing. And they knew we liked dogs and we were fine with that. And, um, but I mean, we, they would be gone for the day. We would be gone for the day. We'd come back. We'd say, hey, 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 how's your day? They were telling us little bits and bobs. They were actually from right across the border from Wales. And um, <clears throat> they, anyhow, it, uh, it was splendid. The people were so nice. Of course, our group was nice. We all got along great. It was a really good, good, good combo. So the first day we went to the Quilt Festival. The second day we traveled down to... Uh, to the Cotswolds. I'm not sure what town we were actually out of, but we did little leg trips. We went to Blenheim, which I've always called the Blenheim, Blenheim Palace, which is where Winston Churchill was born and his family owns that palace and still does. Um, I got a, I, I kept all my stuff. I kept everything, including cold tablets, wrappers. Uh, this is a quilt bag from the Festival of Quilts for my sister. Um, then we did... Let's see. Let's move all the bags. So here's the brochures from the Festival of Quilts. Uh, this is Van Gogh. I'm in the wrong pile. Where's my pile? This is Before You Leave pile. Okay. Let's move all that. <clears throat> There's my editing tools. <laughs> oh. rest of my stuff hold please okay all my stuff is here I just couldn't find it um <laughs> this, oops this gigantic bag that I got from Stratford upon Avon oh that was the first place we went to the home of William Shakespeare which I'm not a Shakespeare person but it was so cool to say that I've been to the home of Shakespeare <clears throat> the hometown and I did manage to get a few tins for art supplies. Um, they don't have good coffee over there. So I was actually drinking breakfast tea, which was nice. It was in all the hotel rooms. Um, but these are perfect for Neo Color 2s. I'm just going to put a C and a W. Cools, warms. And then this, I'm not sure what I'm going to do, but I, of course I had to have that. Perfect, perfect size for something in the art supplies realm. Um, I got a few pieces of paper. This is a map, an antique map. And I got this somewhere in London. Uh, maybe Victoria and Albert. But anyhow, an old map uh, that I'll use bits and bobs from. And I got two more pieces of paper. And I split them. I split one with Jenny and Jenny split one with me. Um, this one was from... A felting class that we did and it was a really neat art uh, hangout place and they had a great gift shop that has people stuff where, where people have made things um, and some manufactured things like homemade like this great paper and he had Jenny and we all loved it because it was diamonds like you would put in a quilt so she gave me a piece of hers and I gave her a piece of mine from uh, I think Downton Abbey. Downton Abbey is not called Downton Abbey. I know that. I just still call it that. It's High Clare Castle. Anyhow, um, Jenny taught an embroidery class from her mother's, her grandmother's quilting patterns. Oh, there's more stuff. Huh. And we also took a felting class, which was fabulous. 
fabulous. Here's my embroidery. I'm not finished yet. This is when I was starting to get really sick during this class, and I kind of sat at a table by myself and everything because I could tell. Um, I did everything I could possibly do to prevent it from the whole group. Um, oh, this lady, Claire Young, I have a couple of her books, and she had cards in the filting store, the art gallery place that had the filting classes. So I got a, a bunch of postcards. And um, anyhow, so I, was trying, I had stuff grouped together, but alas, it's all a mess. So we went to Stratford upon Avon uh, for Shakespeare. Then we did Hike uh, Blenheim Blenheim Castle, which was Churchill's birthplace, and still in that same family. Um, I got a pencil case from the Shakespeare store. I couldn't help it. I'll use it for something. Um, and now. I have a ton of postcards, a ton of brochures, a ton of um, food labels. We went to Covenant Garden in London, and my husband and I ate at the Ivy, which is a very nice restaurant. And I finally got to try halloumi grilling cheese. I actually ordered some finally here, because we don't have it here. So I've got tons of brochures. Um, oh, there's another box. Oh no, this is fabulous. This came from the Shakespeare gift shop. Um, but it's all like uh, drawings. It's this accordion book. But it's all of London. Buckingham, or I guess England. Tower of London, we drove past it several times. The Tate Modern, Windsor Castle, we saw Windsor Castle. Bath, we did not get to. Stonehenge, we did not get to. Um, Oxford, Canterbury Cathedral. I think we saw this maybe Oxford of course I would love to do Stratford upon Avon we were there um the Lake District that's where I really want to go next but that's up by Scotland uh not that place the Giants Causeway no Scottish Highlands no but I just thought this was fabulous um either I tried to draw them myself or cut this up a little bit um again a bunch of bags a bunch of brochures we went to then we went to the little town of burton on the water which is where jeremy somebody that did auto show reality shows in england on the bbc has his farm and now he's filming a farm reality show on um brit box it's that that's how i watch it on um, amazon and that's where his shop his farm is is in that town along that town and uh but the there was a town one of the shops in the town had a hat so i got my hat husband a hat from i think it's called the lickety split something like that anyhow he was thrilled he really can't wear hats very easily because of his cochlear implant on his the side of his head but i told him i can elongate the strap in the back and it can go around it and he said perfect so he was he was thrilled. Burton on the Water was the most charming little tiny country Cotswolds village like you see in every single documentary. It was darling. Um, I got a paper pad, which I love. I think I actually got this at Liberty in London. Things are all mixed up, but I collect the museum guides from museums all over the world. So now I have a Victorian Albert one. Um, oh, here's some more. These are sea salt caramel truffles, which I will not eat my husband will. But another great art supply box. Um, what else did I... Oh, this came from Liberty. It's just a journal, but oh my God. For the beach. Hello. Um, so I have tons and tons of um, brochures, wrappers, uh, food wrapper for, on our plate from the Ivy. Um, I got... Two or three Christmas ornaments, which I use keychains and decorate our tree with. I put red bows on them. Uh, the queen, of course, or the king. Stra uh, Shakespeare. And then I got... Seems like I got another one. I think I did. I did. I got Big Ben. Oh, and here's Winston Churchill, too. So I got four of those. Um, maps, brochures, candy wrappers. Not candy, cough drop wrappers, not candy. Um, I'm not sure what this is, but 
it was at the Tate Modern. It was free. It's some kind of little journal that you can make. It is perforated, but um, somehow that paper is going in my journal too. I got two and I forgot to give one to Jenny. I got a couple of erasers, a William Shakespeare one. I think I got a Victorian Albert and I don't think I got another one. We went to Liberty Fabrics in London. London was a whirlwind, but fun. Oh, I got tissue paper from, okay, then we went to, uh, then we went to Downton Abbey, uh, Highclere Castle. That was fabulous. Um, and the grounds are gorgeous. The trees are ancient, ancient. Saw places where they filmed, got to walk through the house, got to see gorgeous artwork. Um, that is still owned by the same family. Um, and a lot of these families were like earls and dukes. The Duke of Marlborough, the Earl of... Hmm, something owns Blenheim Castle, which is still Winston Churchill's family. Um, and I always thought Princess Diana's dad looked like Winston Churchill. Well, there's a reason. They were like second cousins, which I did not know. I got some tissue paper with William Morris's um, designs on it from Victoria and Albert. Um, then after High Clear Castle, we went to William Morris's summer house, where he ended up is where he ended up retiring. And it's called Kelmscott Manor. It was really fascinating where he where he drew everything and his wife painted um i got some cards from there i got lots of postcards these cards came from the gallery where we did the felting which that's in my suitcase i gotta get it out but i just i just loved this guy um and some beautiful modern cards that i got at the little gift shop there where we did the felting beautiful i mean i would love to make a quilt like this um I got some stickers. Epic. Then we went on to London and we did Coventry Garden, uh, which I got me a queen shirt there because you have to have a queen shirt from England. And they had lots of like rock and roll t-shirts. Um, we ate lunch then at the Ivy, which was fabulous. I had halloumi. That was fabulous. I've always wanted to try it because some of the British um, YouTube people that I have followed for years eat it all the time. I'm like, we can't get halloumi here. But I found it on Amazon. It'll be here in a week and a half. How fresh? I'm not sure, but I'm going to get it. I'm going to try. I got some stickers. And then the next day we went to Victoria and Albert and uh, Liberty Fabrics. And went shopping around that Liberty Fabrics area, which was Piccadilly Circus, I think. We did not see... We, and we did a fabulous quick tour of London. Buckingham Palace, uh, Westminster Abbey, um, another church, St. Paul's Cathedral, um, the Tower Bridge, uh, Parliament, Big Ben, uh, some statues, Churchill statue. I mean, it was fast, but it was awesome. And the tour guide was fabulous, fabulous. You could tell she loves, loves, loves her country. And let's see, most of this is receipts, which I'll show. Oh, I got a couple little things of stickers because they're not easy to find. Um, just from people. Oh, here's the High Clare Castle paper that I've got and shared with Jenny. Um, saw, oh, I got a pigeon feather. Huge pigeons there, huge. Oh, I got some fabric from Liberty Fabric, which I'm not a huge fan of Liberty Fabric. I understand the value of, of it and all that, but it's just not my style. But I found, I managed to find some fabrics that will make my style work. And I got my sister some. Um, our dog was pitiful. We were gone for 11 days. He ate twice. Julie, my sister actually gave him treats in the morning because that's what he gets with us. And he survived on treats. She, uh, he never went for, he went for one walk. He was terrible. Needless to say, last night he was off the charts, excited. Um, so we're home back to my regularly scheduled filming, hopefully every day and got to get rid of this cold. I've already taken some American medicine, <clears throat> which suits our systems better. And I don't know, I might start in my, um, Hobonichi and kind of just document the days. I've done a lot of gathering of pictures and a lot of gathering of notes. I made myself, I'll have to show you tomorrow, but I made myself on my iPad in Procreate the day, uh, the date, 
the weather, which we had fabulous weather. We were so lucky. We only had rain really one day. Otherwise, it was like 70-ish and cloudy but dry. Um, so we got lucky that way. Um, but anyhow, so I had a little box that had the date, and I'll show you. The date, the weather, the day of the week, and then... I just put the highlights of what we're doing that day. And then I would add little notes at the end of, of the day. And that way I can keep it all straight in my head and get it right in my Hobonichi. I think I was always thrown off a day from Vietnam only because there was an international date light involved. This time we didn't have international date lines involved. But so, so cool. Um, had a blast. Highly recommend craft tours. Not sponsored by any means. It was just a good, good overview quickly of certain parts of England and London and that's what we wanted uh that's what we wanted and it was it was fabulous fabulous we had a great time we are tired only because we both came home sick um but I'm at the t I'm at the middle of the tail end Ken is at the beginning of the tail end um the dog is thrilled we took him for a walk this morning he almost has eaten some of his breakfast now um it rained a ton while we were here. There was a tropical depression. Apparently, everything was fine. We haven't heard any bad news from the beach, so we're hoping that's okay down there. Um, but that's just this time of year, living in South Carolina. And it was it was fabulous. Whirlwind. Whirlwind. Went by so fast. But we had a great time. And now I'm ready to document it all. My mind is spinning how I'm going to document it. I never opened my art supply bag. Never. I may have at one time or two because we had some free time, but I was really sopped up in cold medicine by that point. So I just didn't do it. I didn't have the energy. Um, the going away dinner, Ken didn't even make because he was really bad. And when he coughs, he sounds like he's coughing from the bottom of his feet, which he kind of is. And it sounds really bad it was bad but not really bad but it sounds horrible and that's not fair to put anybody through somebody else was already in the throes of it too uh jenny's assistant cherry she has it and i firmly believe we just got it on the plane and thank you thank you thank you and i'm not traveling anywhere long distance until i can be teleported the airlines no matter how much further we get in the future the airlines just are horrible to deal with. I just knock on, knock on wood. I'm home. We lost our suitcase. We didn't lose it, but the trip from London to New York, one of the wheels was torn off. We spent the night in New York just because of logistics and New York closes down. Columbia, of course, closes down. And um, so we said, let's just spend the night, get a fresh start, get the rest of the way home. Oh, on our plane coming from Atlanta to Columbia, was one of the gold medal winners from the women's track and field, uh, the four by 400 relay. She was the last leg. She was on our plane. So was another one of her teammates who didn't win a gold medal, unfortunately. But so was Dawn Staley, who is the women's basketball coach from USC here, the be the first USC. Um, and she has won two championships back to back and she was on the plane. And by the time we were, because we ran in Atlanta, of course, to get from one side of the airport to the other to get a tiny plane that goes to Columbia, which is how you do it around here. And we got there. We were exhausted running across the airport in Atlanta, but they were already loading. And they're like, ladies and gentlemen, I know we have celebrities on the plane, but we got to get going because everybody wanted to take pictures. And they made Dawn Staley stop and they made the girl stop. Oh, I can't remember what her name is. I wrote it down already and I've already forgotten. But she was the last leg in the 4 by 400 relay that won the gold medal. That blew everybody else out of the water. Super, super sweet girl. And I'm thinking she might go to USC, although she recently just got married. Because there was no welcome home committee for her at the airport, which I thought there might be. Like family. But that was not happening. And... Um, School, USC has already started. Uh, our high school, our p under grammar schools started today. But um, she may have already missed a class or two uh, in college. I don't know if she's still going to college. I don't know. It looks like she's 24. But such a sweet, polite, accommodating girl. She was taking pictures with everybody and put her medal around a little girl's neck to take the picture. So the little girl got to wear it for a minute. I mean, she was in a USA tracksuit and one of their uniforms that they wore and 
um, her gold medal walking through the Atlanta airport. She got a standing ovation. Our pilot from Dublin to JFK, that was his last flight. He got a standing ovation. His wife was on the plane. She got a standing ovation. It was kind of cool. But we were both sick. We were like, can we just go home? Can we just go home? Anyhow, I'm home. Everything begins as normal tomorrow. Probably going to start in my Hobonichi because that way I can get kind of... I got a lot of two of everything. Um, and that stuff will be split up between Hobonichi and Travel Journal. Jenny wants to talk to me more about Travel Journal, but she does not have time. And we had very little spare time. Um, I'll show you my felting tomorrow. That was so much fun. And... Uh, anyhow fabulous trip thanks for hanging in there while i was gone thankfully i filmed a lot of videos and i filmed five or six in advance so i always had the videos were done and scheduled way before i got sick so that was forethought on my side uh the night before we left uh, i'm like ken we need to come up with plan b because i don't think i'm gonna make it i was so sick but I held it together. I had massive phobias about smelling. Everything smelled terrible to me. It was making me nauseous on top of already being nauseous. But we made it over there and I rallied. I really rallied. Um, I did what my mother used to do. I willed it away. I was not able to will a cold away also in the same week or the next week. But um, now I don't have to worry. We're home. Now I'm nursing back a husband and consoling a dog, promising him we'll never go anywhere ever again. There were so many cute dogs in England. Oh, God. They treat their animals over there wonderfully. And the animals know how to behave in crowds. It was wonderful. The dog that came in and out of our hotel room. In, um, uh, the Cotswolds. Louie. It was so sweet. So sweet. Anyhow, we're home. See you all tomorrow. Regular back to the journals. Thanks for watching. Bye.